Welcome to your Takis. My name is Mrs. Ramla. Thank you for watching the natural selection videos. In these videos, there are five, three of which are theory videos and two are exam question videos. This is the speciation theory video. And here I have prepared a generic answer that you can be used or you can use to apply to any question that you are given. The key thing is to be able to apply this answer to any question that you're given. Two things that you must remember. When you're given an next organism, don't mention organism. It must always be the population. And in the case of the organism becoming different, continental drift could have taken place or not. Right. So let's get down to seeing if we can apply yourself. Now, if you look at this lizard, this is the ancestral lizard population. You always start off by saying there was variation amongst the lizard, ancestral lizard, lizard population. In this case, there was no continental drift, but a geographical barrier formed. And the geographical barrier formed is the valley. You must always mention what the barrier is in brackets. Now, what happened is it separated the ancestral population into two on either side of the valley. And each of those two populations now... And you see they're on different sides of the valley. Now, there was no gene flow between these two different populations on either side of the valley. And natural selection took place on this side and natural selection took place independently on either side of the valley. And these two lizard populations became so different from each other. They became genotypically and phenotypically different from each other. Thus, if they were to interbreed, they will not be able to. They have now become two different lizard populations or species. Now, if you look at your answer, there's your genetic answer. We spoke about variation. We spoke about the geographical barrier, which was the valley. We said the lizard population split into two. We had to mention gene flow. Then you mentioned natural selection took place independently. And then you mentioned they became so different from each other genotypically, phenotypically, and they will not be able to interbreed. They've become two different lizard populations. So that is how you actually apply your answer, the generic answer, into any question that you're given in your exam. I hope this helps you. Thank you for joining me and watching this video. Thank you.